yo before i start the video i just want to let you guys know to please let, give me some suggestions in the comments or discord server for this tutorial game because i don't want to make it completely like flee the facility the game so yeah yo welcome back to another video i know it's been a little minute since i've uploaded but i think i'm back now and today we're starting a new series and it's a flee the facility game but before I start, I wanted some suggestions for this game because I don't want to make it completely like Flee the Facility. Like, maybe some cool ideas for the game. But, yeah. So, in this, ep in this episode, we're going to focus on like a small framework for the round system. And we're going to make some game info modules. So, let's go. So, first we're going to make a script here. We're going to call it Framework. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna get everything in like inside of it so get the sentence if uh it's a module script we're gonna require it so like this is going through everything and it's checking if anything in there is a module script if it is a module script then we're gonna get it oh yeah so now we don't need that anymore so I'm gonna make a folder here and handler um and a module script and this is gonna be the round system so we're gonna do round okay so before i do this i'm gonna do some stuff in replicator storage modules remotes <clears throat> and add a module script here and it's gonna be like the suggestions that you guys say. So look, I'm gonna show you. So, um, like some guy told me to do sprint in the game. Like they wanted sprinting in the game since we the facility didn't have. But if you if you guys don't want it, then you could set this to false. But I'm gonna make it to true. And then there's crawl. and crawl is equal to true in my game so if you don't want these in your game set, just set it to false yeah so i'm gonna have those for now and on the round system uh okay we're gonna do local no local replicated storage for the game the service get storage local um modules Older, you replicate storage and then local game and info module is going to require module. Oh, whoops. Right, so now what we're going to do is we need to make some stuff local game active and we're going to set it to true for now. So I'm gonna set this to true once the game starts, but uh, we're gonna do that when we make the voting map system. But I don't think we're gonna get to it in this episode. So now we're gonna do oh, local players required equals two, you know, because we need two players one for the beast and one for the survive at least. And then we can get the player here. Okay, now, before the game starts, we're gonna check, we're gonna check, um, okay, for now, let's print, or, hmm. all right, we could do it now, okay, let's make a screen GUI, call it, like, main GUI, ignore GUI and set text label, and then you wanna set the size here, like this, uh one transparency this is gonna be the status of the game so like it's gonna say intermission here stuff i'm just gonna have it like this oh, no. <clears throat> that is and now we're gonna need this no you i don't know and now so i'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna get all of these. Now we're gonna do this. Do name this player because this is players, and then we're gonna do the parent dot status that text is okay. Now we're gonna make some more stuff. Let's add a configuration just so you guys can access everything. That's why I made this module so you can just make your false or true if you want in your game. But for the statuses and stuff, we can do this. So add a string value in here. This is like a folder, basically. And then this is gonna be named status. Uh nothing for me. Is equal to Let's name this game browse. Game browse is equal to okay. Game browse. Wait for child status. Don't value. Now, gonna let's do wait for child status. Get property change value. Connect function. I think this is how you do it. And then just do the same thing. Alright, so now that's good. Let's actually just get everything here and put it here. Okay, so game vals with a child status. That value is equal to <clears throat> let's say in permission. Let's do this and then so I'm gonna explain this so it's so, all right players get players is greater than or equal to players required so it's gonna repeat everything here <clears throat> all right wait it's gonna repeat everything here every one second um it's gonna say intermission until another player joins or until there's two players like this is getting the players this hashtag is getting the length of the players so and greater than or equal to because yeah players required so no look because if if it does have enough players it'll go down to here but if it doesn't it'll just say this so we'll just do this let's test it <clears throat> It says intermission, but now if I make it to one player, it should just print. Yeah, it prints, but it'll it'll say this because it runs once. But I'm gonna fix that. So, yeah. so now I'm gonna do while game is act. Do I'm gonna do four. So. This is running a loop with every time this is true. So if this is true, then it'll do anything under here. So four i equals to and or actually this is gonna be players. You need at least players required. And now this is gonna be so I'm gonna show you what this means. So it's starting at one. I mean it's starting at ten. This is the starting point. This is like a variable, basically. Uh it's starting at ten, it's gonna go to one and it's gonna subtract by one to get to get to one. So now we could do that's probably one. Game browser for child status the value is equal to intermission and then we'll do dot dot i so now if you run this game it should go down so 10 9 8 7 6 actually that looks kind of weird here let me fix this dot dot 
I hold on. Precious this. All right, this should be good now. Yeah, it looks better. All right, so yeah. Now, once it gets to one, it'll just restart. Okay, because it's because the game's active, so it'll keep going. But if this is false, then this is not gonna happen. So yeah, but okay. I think. Oh. Um. So if if you have this true, then we could just do e bind equal to enum key code. So now you could customize your your key code or your key bind that you want it to be. Just make sure to put a comma here. So. For my sprint, I'm actually gonna have it to left shift. But for for my for my crawl, I'm gonna have it to left control. Okay, so now we could do. So this is gonna be the. Let me show you. So game info module dot. We're gonna do this sprint first. You know what? Let's name this the keybind. Name, I guess. I don't know. Keybind name. Uh, then. Okay, so this is good. we're gonna label it. This is the sprint. Okay, so and we're actually gonna get. Character or player dot character added. Wait. So when they press the keybind that you put it as, we're gonna just print player is running now. Let's see if this works. Player is running now. You see, since we made it left shift, now it's just printing it. Because we did that. Now if we were to do the crawl key by name. It'll base. It won't work. Left shift won't work. But left control will. Because we set it to left control. Obviously. We're doing the sprint. And also. We also need to do. And game info module. Sprint that can sprint. Is included with true. So now, this is false. We can't even run because it's not in your game. Said it's a false. So. See, it can't run. I'm spamming left shift. But uh, like I said, in my fleet of facility game, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have sprinting. So yeah, I think. We could just do for now the other one. So let's just copy this. And I'm gonna show you we need to change it to crawl. And crawl. And then and we're gonna do crawl keep on name. And now instead of that the layer is crawling now. Let's see if it works now. So players running now and players crawling. Alright. So I think this is gonna be it for this episode. I don't wanna keep it too long. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, comment, any like suggestions like I said for the game, because I don't wanna make it completely like the facility. And yeah, like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.